I'm Arielle with Ariel Paints. Today I'm going to show you how to do a very quick tribal dragon. This goes really, really quickly on the job and can be adapted into a cheek design, a neck design, or even something for the arm for those people that don't really want something on their face, but they still want to participate and have fun. You can also switch up the colors, do a pink one with glitter, so it's really, really versatile and very easy. On the job, I could probably do this in like two or three minutes, so it's a quick boy design that can be switched up into a lot of different ways. Also great for teenagers and adults because it's so hard to come up with cool designs for them. So I think this is a really, really good one. I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned and I will show you a step-by-step -step on how I did it. I'm going to start with a round brush and you can use a number four, number six, whatever you're comfortable with. Start with a U shape and then turn that U shape into a horseshoe. From that horseshoe, you're going to start adding the details for the dragon's face. I just added a little bump for the eye, and then I'm going to start to pull out spikes on the back of the head, on the nose, and then under the chin. Now I'm going to pull an S shape around my eye. I started on the tip of my brush, and I pushed a little bit further down as I went around my eye, and then as I ended the curve as well but then I pulled back up on the tip of my brush. This entire design is just a series of controlled strokes. And if you practice this on your arm a few times, you will be able to do this in so many different variations on kids and adults. It's quite easy. I did switch to a very, very small brush to the teeth because I just didn't leave that much room there. So depending on how you were doing this, you might need to switch. You can think of the wing as upside down U shapes with some spikes at the top. And if you break this down into simple shapes, it'll be easier for you not only to paint, but to remember the design. When I decided I wanted to do a tribal dragon, I just Googled a bunch of images. I found an image I liked, and then I followed it and changed it a little bit. So if you want to make your own tribal dragon, that's what I would suggest you do. Find a shape or an image that looks like something you could do, and then alter it a little bit, but use it as a guide. So now I'm just extending that wing down. And I'm pulling and thickening up the segment that meets the body and the back of the wing. And I'm not going to do much there. I want to add more to the body first. So I'm going to go ahead and thicken up the body, but I'm making sure that most of my lines end in nice peaks. So almost spiky. So this shape I'm doing is kind of like a triangle for the body and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of skating on the tip of my brush and I'm etching out where I want the lines to go then I'm going to go back in and fill it in and thicken up the lines where I want them to be a little thicker and then I'm going to refine some of the ends and the spikes I'm going to pull a line down and then I kind of want to etch out where I want that tail to go as well. And when you're doing this on the job, it's a good thing to remember that you can kind of sketch it out first. See how lightly I'm just barely pushing, making sure I like the way it looks. And then I go back and I fill it in. So don't be afraid to do that. You could really roughly kind of sketch this out on someone's face to make sure the shape is just right or that it's going to fit well on their face the way you want it. Then go back and thicken up those lines. Fill in where you want it to be filled in so that it has that tribal look. Now, to also make sure that you get kind of that cool tribal effect, you do want to make sure that your lines have some variance, that there's some layer to them, that there's that thick and thin, and that's going to give you a tribal, more of a tribal tattoo look rather than just a line drawing. So you can also go in and double up some lines. I started to add some spikes. I didn't have a lot of room to add the spikes at the top because the way my hairline and faces, the wing is kind of scrunched in. So I just added them to the front of the body instead. 
And then I just kind of evaluate where I don't like the shape or where I do like the shape and I want to emphasize it. I decided to, to make the wing look a, a little bit more peaked. And then I really liked these lines all kind of crossing and segmenting over each other. So I wanted to emphasize that and I added another one kind of twirling around in there. And then I had some room for some extra little spikes, which I do think makes this look cool and adds to the whole tribal effect. So I wanted to emphasize that and add a few more. I think one of the most important things to remember with this design before you start painting it on someone is to evaluate the face and decide where will the body go, the head go, and where will the wing go. Those are the three elements you want to consider most. And when you're looking at someone's face, decide where will the body fit where will the head go and what the arc of the wing will be because you're not going to be able to do it exactly the same on everyone's face because people's face shape is different. The size of their face is different. Their hairline is different. So those three elements you want to evaluate quickly, decide where you have room for them. And once you know where those go, you'll be able to place this differently on different faces. Okay, so we're almost done. You can absolutely skip this step, but if you have time, a few highlights is nice. I did just do a dot for the eye and I'm adding in a few light white highlights. When highlighting over dark colors, especially like black, you want to make sure that your highlight color is very, very creamy and very, very thick. That way you're going to get more of a painted highlight and less of a watered down look because if your paint is really, really watery, you're going to be reactivating the paint underneath rather than layering up and highlighting. Get this question a lot from people, especially beginners, because it's just one of those tricks you learn over time. So make sure when you are highlighting with white or any color that is very, very thick and very, very creamy, and that you're using a light, quick hand. If you take a long time to apply that highlight, you're also going to be working the paint into the paint underneath and it's going to start activating it again. So you want to have a really light, quick hand and creamy, creamy paint that will prevent that gray look and you're going to get nice, clean, white highlights. If you liked this tribal design, then please comment down below. Tell me what you think. I love hearing from you guys. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I promise there are more boy designs to come. Thanks for watching.